Hey everybody, Rock Paper Mario here, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. And actually, I suppose I could meet you. Oh, I oh it's because we're going down, so he like defaults to going perpendicular. That's probably like one of the reasons why the swimming feels so good in this game, actually. Is that like there's like an auto correctiveness to keep him perpendicular to the um <clears throat> keep link perpendicular to the uh on the on the x axis if you know what I mean or not perpendicular parallel with the x axis you know which is probably like one of the reasons why um why um swimming feels really good in this game like i feel like this game probably has when you're wearing the zora armor obviously probably has like some of the best um swimming controls of any game and I don't know why I didn't just meet you over at the at the boss door but we'll be there in literally like under a minute so I think you guys can spare me that you can cut me some slack because this is I think wasn't it like April 1st when I recorded this the last time I feel and you want to know what date it is today it is the 25th of April like it is crazy um and pretty much just because- whoa, okay, wasn't expecting that. Pretty much just because, um... Am I ready for this? I'm gonna take a drink. It's 12 a lot. it's 12 o'clock, the sun is over the yard arm. Whiskey and ginger ale, it's whiskey twilight princess time again. <clears throat> As per usual. Who cares about the nostalgic, uh... Whoa, I wanted to scoop. How do I scoop? Wait a second. Scoop, scoop. No, get away from me. I want to scoop. Do I have like a second bottle? Is that gonna like fly away? Or I have like a bottle with milk in it. Can I like drink that first? And then scoop the fairy? Fat man scoop, Crooklyn clan. Is it still in there? There we go. <laughs> Sorry, this is like video. It like was all serene when we like last left off at the end of the um. At the end of the, uh, at the end of the Lake Bed Temple, and now it's just completely hectic here, so. But oh well. Funny looking boss chamber you have here. It's more like the oubliette where you go to forget about. Where you put people when you want to forget about them. Um. Oh, I'm Hoggle! It's. <laughs> Hoggle. It's a little bit of a Noki Bay vibe going on here in the Lake Bed Temple, isn't there? You've just got to kind of spiral. It's the downward spiral here. I suppose if we wanted to, we could put on those iron boots and serenely sink down. But there's something about swimming down here. It's like this game that um, my partner or my boyfriend has been playing called Subnautica, and it looks really cool. And when I saw it, the first thing I asked was, is there a creative mode? And when I say creative mode, I mean like a, uh, like a version, a, a mode of it that's like not, um, that's like not dangerous where you can just explore. And he said there is, so I should like try it out. But anyway, what's this icky paint like you? It's moving! It's the, giving me the evil eye here. It's time for a triple X tentacle porn. That's what I call like XXX Tentacion, may God rest his soul or whatever. Is triple X tentacle porn, because that's all I see when I see him. And here we're fighting the Sarlacc pretty much. I think we I think we do want to just like stick to um Um Stick to uh our iron boots here and not get Oh, there we go, I got a chance. Get him! You pretty much, like, want to stick to the iron boots here, pull the eye out, and then, and then, like, pretty much just get them. These things are obviously going to try and distract you, the tentacles are obviously going to try and grab you, and eat up little, little poor little Link here. But this is, like, a cool, cool boss. Okay, get the iron boots off, and get away! Sorry, this like um, um, this boss has like got me all like uh, all like um, completely turned around. See, the thing is, you have to like get um, 
You have to like get like close enough to be able to to like target the eyeball. Whoa, but you also don't want to get hit by the thing. I feel like I'm missing something here, and this is why I feel like it was a good idea that I got the uh No, swim away. Don't grab me again, please, Morpheal. It's basically like you're fighting the Sarlacc and it's looking to and it's looking to um and it's looking to uh to 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 eat you up. I'm wondering if you can just like if you can like swim around and um and like get it this way and like get a bomb in while you're at it. Get away. Yeah, send out more of them. Oh, are we on this already? That was like, did they, sorry, I'm like, I'm, I'm going to apologize right now. I'm going to take like some more of my drink to like take the edge off here. I feel like I'm completely like spa spasmodic here. Whew, whoa. But yeah, okay, note to self, it's actually easier to fight the first stage of that boss when you're swimming compared to when you're on the ground. But I didn't think, like, that, uh... I didn't think that, um, it would be that easy. Well, not, not that easy, but go that quickly. Now, of course, we have to try and, like, uh... Here we go. This feels so satisfying, by the way. You just, like, stab it in. This is, like, such, like, a Shadow of the Colossus boss. It just feels so good. Like, and even, like, the... The music feels like, um, feels amazing. Like, the music feels like so, where did he go? Oh, he's like all the way down there. It's cause like I keep like, um, keep like not holding the A button down. Oh god, okay. Sorry, Morpheal. This is your house you're wrecking, by the way. You do know that, don't you? Get him. Oh, <laughs> it feels like so, uh, so amazing. Like I'll use the word epic again. Which is going to come up like time and again while I'm playing this game because like the the between like the between like the boss battles and the dungeons, just like everything about this is just like epic as all get out. And like the only thing that the only thing that you uh that you regret then is that it's like over too quickly, you know? It's like that's it. Why did I wait until tonight to do this? Until today to do this, by the way? Why did I wait three weeks just to do this eight-minute video? Like, literally, that took, like, all of five minutes. Poor Morpheal. So, yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's the boss of the Lake Bed Temple. Again, like, the only, like, regret is that it's, it's not longer, you know? You just... Like, the boss battle is so fun that you just wish it went on forever, you know? You're having such a good time. You're in this big, huge arena. But, um, there are longer boss battles in future, don't worry. There are even more, like, Shadow of the Colossus style. Well, are there? Actually, there aren't, I don't think. This is pretty much the Shadow of the Colossus battle, so. Well, isn't, if it isn't our, uh, our last fused shadow, as far as I know. Yeah, ha ha! There it is, the last fused shadow. I'll just take that, thanks. Now, don't resent me for all I've put you through. I need this thing. Besides, we have to do something about Zant, the one who thinks he's the king of shadows. His power is a false one. I'll prove it using these. So, yeah, what's on next on the agenda, Midna? And everything I needed to. Sorry for dragging you all over the place with me. Aww. She's, I, I feel like the, our relationship is growing a little bit less, like, um, a little bit, like, less hostile, you know, as thing, as time goes on. I'm gonna pick up my heart container here. Like, sorry, but look how amazing this, like, boss arena is, and we don't even really get to see it. We do, like, this one short boss battle, you know, and it just feels so good. I don't know. I feel like I was all over the place during that, like it was just going faster than I was able to keep up with. Yeah, I'm done here. At least they actually ask you. It's not you're not able to accidentally walk into the thing without uh without picking up your, your heart container, so Well all's well that ends well I guess. Nah I'm okay without saving. I should have really done this the last day. 
I don't know why I didn't. I think I was just so tired. I was like, I like the the temple was just after breaking me down, and I just couldn't do it anymore. Wow, that's all I need to see on a sunny, sunny Sunday afternoon. Whoa. But we've got a. Uh, he just doesn't even look phased. There's like this enormous serpent, you know? And Zant just doesn't even look phased by it. What a cool villain, like, sorry, but. He's so cool. Zant's like, you think you're tough. We're not tough at all compared to him. Whoa, leave Midna alone. Don't be bullying her, especially when I'm just lying down here asleep like a dog. And we worked hard for those, thank you very much. Did you honestly mean to take an ancient and withered power like this and turn it against me? I, I guess we did. I actually didn't know what we were doing. I was just following orders. Why do you defy your king? My king? You who did nothing but abuse the magic of your tribe? You must be joking. You're mad, Ganondorf. Or you're insane, Ganondorf. You implying that my power is our old magic? Now that is a joke. <laughs> He's like a weird voice. But I think Zant is like in that same sort of camp as Kefka, where he's kind of like that unhinged villain, you know? This is the power granted to me by my god. Nothing you could do could ever be true to my god, or whatever that sister act weird song is. Aww. See, I'm telling you, we like, uh... Oh wow, that's, that's scary. But I'm telling you, like, our relationship with Midna is becoming less hostile, you know? She's starting to respect us. Did you forget that Beast is one of the Light Dwellers who oppressed our people? No matter how much you may desire otherwise, you will never be more than a shadow in their world. You cannot consort with their kind. But if we can make their world ours, Midna, light and darkness will meet at last. Our tribe will take back their realm, and sweet darkness will blot out this harsh light. And that, Midna, is why. Whoa! Guan Liquor. I need you. Not just for me, but for all of our people. Lend me your power. <sighs> Think again, asshole. He has like this weird like like joker cut smile or whatever. So be it. I'll return you to the light world you covet. This is like such an amazing scene again. Like there's just so much cool stuff happens in this game. It never lets up. Like, what's he doing? Is he, like, controlling the serpent? Like, is he controlling the light spirit? Is that what he's doing? And the thing is, Midna, obviously, uh, being from the twilight, this is like... Do you know what it's like? It's like in, um... In, uh... It's like when they show the light to the to the Gelflings in the Dark Crystal or whatever. It, like, completely destroys... It saps her power. But where did Link go? Little Wolfy Poo. Little Poodle Poo Poo Linky Poodle. Oh, well it looks like we got rescued by something. I guess it was the never smile at a crocodile. Light spirit. Lanairu, that's it. It's a good thing that Lanairu didn't say anything because I couldn't remember what voice it had. So what's so new and novel about that? Oh no, I guess I spoke so so too soon. Harry, hero chosen by the goddesses. I I should have known one of these guys couldn't miss an uh, couldn't like miss an opportunity to just like stick their oar in and say something. That princess holds the key that can unlock you from your shadow form. Okay. Well, here was I thinking our journey would be over now that um, now that we've got the few shadows. But as you can see, we have this kind of like negative filter 
Midna here. Um, and apparently we've got to head and see Princess Zelda, but I think that's enough action for this part. I will leave you with this really cool music in the rain, in the dark, when it seems like we're at our, at our lowest here. Um, and I'll see you next time when we try and save Midna and ourselves while we're at it.